Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Tax Matters as we begin this episode in the classroom. Pick a paper, pick a pen and get ready to participate in this text of your knowledge, my knowledge of tax matters in Nigeria. I'm Chamaka Ohauchi. We have five questions for uh, participants. Question one. The federal government recently introduced two earmarked taxes through the 2021 Finance Act. Name the two taxes. Question two. Name five taxes administered by FRS. Question three. Value-added tax is not an example of an indirect tax, true or false. Question four. Pay as you earn, payee, is administered under the personal income tax, true or false. Question five. Who is the executive chairman of FRS? Before those calls were released, the general audience participated. Uh, can we all be participants now? The first question, the federal government recently introduced two airmark uh, taxes in Nigeria through the 2021 Finance Act, named the two uh, tax type. Yes, audience now. The police trust fund tax and NASENI, NASENI, National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, in addition to the education tax, which is also an earmark tax. Value-added tax, VAT, is not a, an example of uh, indirect uh, tax, true or false. false. The statement is false because value-added tax is an example of uh, indirect tax. Number five, who is the executive chairman of FRS? Mr. Muhammad Maman Nami. And then the results of the impromptu quiz competition. Out of the eight participants, four of you actually did well. You have five marks and above. And the BC fate. A round of applause for her. She actually, she actually had seven. Congratulations, my darling. Sadi Kokpayemi, please. A round of applause for him. Also seven marks. Ola Dayo Alabi. Good job too. Six marks. Kofo Warola Omowale. Congratulations. Winners were presented with the gifts of a book. The Compendium of Tax and Related Laws. So, what did you score? The occasion was a national workshop hosted by the Federal Inner Revenue Service for members and supervisors of tax clubs in various tertiary institutions in Nigeria, held in Abuja on Thursday, the 24th of March, 2022. What is the origin of tax clubs in Nigeria? Two students came into my office. And they said, we have this idea. What is it? And they started talking from their heart. The rest is history. The two students are here together with us today with the permission of, uh, of the FRS. Uh, thank God, Enauro and the Fidoyalami. The tax rate to GDP ratio of Nigeria is very, very low. And experts have advocated that the reason why this is so is because the tax culture in Nigeria is still very, very low. Denmark has 46% of tax rate to GDP. Belgium has 42. Uh, some countries in Africa, South Africa is about 26. Ghana, 15. Tunisia, 22. But Nigeria still has a tax rate to GDP of a patri sum of just about 6%. And if we need to change this trend, there's need for us to evolve in more innovative ways to address this challenge. And we felt one of the best ways to handle this is to see how we can embed the culture of taxation amongst the youth. And the best way to do that is through our high institution of learning. That is why we are here today.
to bring the young advocates and ambassadors of the gospel of taxation up to speed as to what is expected of them, two papers were presented. One by Professor Muhammad Mainoma on entrenching the culture of taxation in Nigeria, the role of tax clubs. Professor Mainoma was represented by Dr. Ismaila Olutu. When he told me uh, that uh, I need to go and present this uh, paper, what I did was to Google the tax club. And I saw Unilag Tax Club, OAU, Unilorin, uh, UNN, ABU. I got a list about 17 or so of um, the various institutions that have um, uh, tax um, uh, clubs. Do they have roles to play in, in ensuring or enshrining a um, uh, uh, culture of taxation? Yes, they do. Uh, they, they play, uh, they, these, are, these are platforms, mostly of uh, tertiary uh, institution that are normally established to create tax awareness and promote uh, tax education. They are considered as part of the engines of establishing effective and vibrant uh, tax um, culture. The members of these clubs are prospective tax practitioners, tax administrators, and taxpayers. And because of that, they play a significant role in enshrining culture of taxation in um, Nigeria. Now, what are the tax uh, task of uh, tax uh, uh, clubs. Uh, again, Professor Minowa has, like I told us, he's a wordsmith. What he did was to condense the various rules of uh, tax club to NAMI, the chairman of the uh, Federal Revenue Service. And while NAMI is the surname of uh, the chairman, to Professor Minowa, NAMI is, a, is about networking, advocacy, mobilization, and the issue of uh, incubation. The second paper was presented by Professor Bella Sonny on the establishment and sustenance of task clubs in higher institutions in Nigeria. How did the tax club begin? It started in 2006 in the Faculty of Law, University of Lagos, and it has been replicated in not less than 20 universities and some private and some polytechnics across the six geopolitical zones. Now, look at the tax club programs. They started because they wanted to learn more. You know, we cannot teach everything in the class. So they wanted to learn more and then they created bi-weekly discussion meetings where they will brainstorm on issues, questions. So they have a flagship program, which is called the National Tax Debate. The next one is going to be 7.0. Then every Thursday, they gather together. They call it Tax Thursday. I think it is FRS who started that. But uh, it's initiative of FRS. Now the student, it might appear as if, oh, it has helped. No. To these young boys and girls, vision do not die. Mm. So they are still doing their tax Thursday. Then they have tax master class, where they look for contemporary, topical, global issues, and then bring experts to talk to them on different things, digital taxation, environmental taxation, even issues that you, there are no literature in Nigeria. From there, they develop a journal, the tax anthology. So now, this is volume five. We have institutions. We have institutions, we have faculties who have not produced journals for years. But these students, these students that we are promoting and supporting are unstoppable. Professor Sonny reminded the audience about the endorsement of what was happening with the tax clubs by the National Tax Policy 2017. Tax education is critical to building national culture. And this is what the revised national policy 2017 said in chapter 5. FRS shall promote tax awareness and a tax culture in Nigeria. The Federal 
and state tax authority through the joint tax board shall set aside a uniform day in the year as a national tax day. Also, government should make concerted efforts to ensure that taxation is taught at all levels of education. This is not me speaking. This is the national tax policy speaking, a document of the federal government of Nigeria. Then it goes further to identify five key players in the Nigerian tax space, beginning with the government, the taxpayer, the revenue agencies, professional bodies, and advocacy group. So what we are having today is a handshake between three and uh, five, between the tax authority and uh, the student uh, advocacy group. The initiative by the CITN was between professional bodies and the uh, advocacy groups. Earlier in her welcome address, Head Taxpayer Service Department at the FIRS, Haji Asada Atuyeru, underscored the importance of youths participating in the workshop. We know that to erect a solid building, one must have a solid foundation, which is why we have embarked on a mission to entrench the culture of taxation in the younger generation of taxpayers who are the foundation of our nationhood. Dr. Dick Erie, Coordinating Director, Compliance Support Group at the FIRS, oversees the Taxpayer Service Department. The concept of Task Club is to bring everyone into the, the same uh, space so that we all be on the same page as citizens of uh, the nation. So this is all the idea of uh, setting up the Task Club. So we are to spread this good news Run the whole uh, institution, either university, secondary school, or primary. We are to spread this good news around and ensure that we take it beyond this number that are seated here. In keeping with one of the cardinal pillars of the Muhammad Nami administration, robust collaboration with stakeholders. The service is strongly collaborating on this matter with the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria. This workshop by FIRS is a clear indication that the role of the youth in any society cannot be overemphasized as nation builders. Hence, we must take full advantage to enlighten them on pertinent tax matters such as the need to imbibe the culture of paying taxes as, as at when due. On Monday, 14th March 2022, the Association of Nigerian Taxation Students was inaugurated as part of the Institute's Catch Them Young agenda, geared towards creating a community of taxation students who will be nurtured to become qualified tax practitioners and build leadership skills over time. Currently, we have more than 40 higher institutions in Nigeria offering taxation courses at various levels and 19 tertiary institutions with tax club. We will continue in advocacy drive with more interactions and engagement with these tax clubs and collaborate with the Federal Inland Revenue Service and other stakeholders towards developing the tax profession in our dear nation. I assure you of the Institute's support towards the realization of the goals and objectives of this workshop. I stand to say, just to mention to us that the president of the Association of Nigerian Taxation Students, ANTAS, uh, Mohamed Idris from National State University uh, Club, Task Club is here, and also with some of his executive, two of them, Okbayemi and Kufurola, were those who got the first two prizes. In the course of the day-long event, representatives of the Task Clubs shared experiences, ideas, and challenges. Questions were asked and answers were received. I'm a very busy man. My business involves a lot of traveling and I interface with lots and lots of people and organizations. Tax compliance used to be a big drag on my business. It was time consuming and very costly. But now, 
no more. Introducing the FIRS Tax Pro Max, the truly fully end-to-end -end tax administration solution for companies' income tax, value-added tax, petroleum profits tax, and all other tax types. For fast, efficient, and convenient end-to-end -end tax experience, log on to www.taxpromax.firs.gov.ng. Tax Pro Max has turned things around for me. It is fast, user-friendly, and cost-effective. FIRS, making tax administration as easy as ABC. You are still on to tax matters. We spoke earlier about the collaboration between the FIRS and the CITN on the grooming and support of the leaders of tomorrow through their various task clubs with a view to molding them into conversers and advocates of the gospel of tax compliance. On Monday, the 14th of March, 2022, the CITN took a giant step by creating an umbrella body for Nigerian students pursuing taxation as a course of study towards preparing them for professional life. The CITN launched the Association of Nigerian Taxation Students. Flagging off the day's event, Chairman Students Affairs and Tertiary Education Committee of the CITN, Dr. Mrs. Titilai of Wokon, began by highlighting the mission of ANTAS as being to build an association that will nurture prospective members of the CITN in tax administration, in academics, and in tax practice. Against the background of these stated mission, vision, and benefits of ANTAS, Dr. Fowokon made this pledge. With the permission of the 15th president of our great institute, I wish to state that CITN in its oversight role for ANTAS shall nurture this initiative and ensure that at the national and district levels, the members of ANTAS have undeterred access to counseling, guidance, funding, and support for their tax promotion and enlightenment programs to foster the vision for inaugurating the association. Declaring the event open, Mr. Deshino Adedayo, president of the CITN, spoke about the goals of the institute in setting up ANTAS. Distinguished participants, this initiative is part of the Institute's Catch Them Young agenda, geared towards creating a community of transition students who will be nurtured to become qualified TAS practitioners and build leadership skills over time. We are not just talking about an inauguration of TAS students. No, we are talking about an investment into the future of the country. That is the emphasis I want to make here. An investment into the future of this country. And that is why we are here today. This association is coming in at a time when your importance cannot be overstated. I'm very happy, delighted, excited to say I am hereby inaugurating you today and you stand inaugurated. And I want to just say, go ye into the world and do exploits. The president's injunction to the leaders of tomorrow was quickly followed by two sessions of career talk delivered by leading lights in taxation. The papers were well received and attracted observations and questions from the audience and, of course, answers. One major highlight of the occasion was the presentation of awards to Task Quiz Ambassadors. While the high point was the unveiling of the National Executive Members of ANTAS, followed by their swearing name. The National President is by name Idris Mohamed Yusuf from Nasarawa State University. The Vice President is Sadiq Okwayemi Adesoye from Amadou Bello University, economic student. The Secretary General is Ukeshuku Michael, Federal Polytechnic, Nekede. I do solemnly affirm that I shall be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Association of Nigerian Transition Students under the auspices of the CITN so that I shall always discharge my duties to the best that I will not allow my personal interests to influence my official conduct and decision. 
Congratulations. The president of Antas, Mr. Idris Mohamed Yusuf, thereafter delivered his inaugural address in which he laid out the blueprint of his administration. We have collectively mapped out a blueprint ensuring we lay a firm foundation for a sustainable future for us all. For want of time, this will be highlighted as follows. One, organizing a nationwide tax initiative campaign to establish in all Nigerian tertiary institutions either a tax club or a taxation association, as the case may be. Establishing of a digital learning platform. This digital learning platform will function similar to the likes of Coursera and Udemy. It will be a platform where taxation can be learned in order to improve tax knowledge, but more importantly, to serve as a study platform to encourage and enjoy students to enroll for the CITM professional examination. Visitation to revenue authorities. This executive intends to make courtesy visitation to some revenue agencies and authorities in the country. The goal is to work out collaborative programs that will inculcate a taxpaying culture among the future taxpayers. Organization of quiz and debate championship. The executives hope that by organizing quiz and debate competitions, we achieve association goal of tax knowledge and advocacy among students. This championship will be first conducted at the regional levels. Then the winners will compete in national stage. This will be done under the platform and guidance of the Student Affairs and Tertiary Education Relations Committee of the CITN. Organizing nationwide convention, symposium and seminars, visual, physical, and hybrid. Establishing a national directory for research and innovation to encourage research into great tax areas and spur the creative minds of students in innovation. The event was rounded off with pep talks from the immediate past president and the vice president of the CITN. For clearer perspectives, Tax Matters spoke to the pioneer national president of ANTAS, the chairman student affairs and tertiary education committee of the CITN and the president of CITN. ANTAS is like bridging the gap between us and the task clubs so we can know what they're going through, know their programs, be able to plan for their programs and then be able to be physically and very, very active in their programs. I'm, I'm seeing the, the bright, brightness of tomorrow in all of them. This is the incubating wing, and we need to now talk about when you now have a task club, so many of them, there should be a coordinating hub. The coordinating hub is the Association of Nigerian Task Students. The population in Nigeria is growing, that is clear, and the need for resources is equally becoming more challenging. Now, if you look at the population of the professionals vis-a-vis -vis the population of the country as a whole, it is inadequate. You are talking about 25,000 members and you are looking at almost 250 million. So that is inadequate. Now, the only way to change the narrative is to actually start creating a task culture right from secondary school level to tertiary, which will ultimately impact. Catch them young is a popular saying. Another common saying is the youths are the leaders of tomorrow. Whichever one is your favorite, our stories on today's episode go a long way in confirming the truism of these sayings. The efforts of the CITN and the FIRS will go a long way in preparing the youths for the tomorrow of our dream. This is Epoca. This is going to change the story because after this is going to be a totally different level. We are leveraging a new year in tax education, in tax awareness campaign in this country with the youths who are the leaders of tomorrow. I want to honestly commend our boss, Mr. Muhammad Mama Nami, the executive chair for this visionary an incomparable landmark workshop. We have gotten all manners of support before, but this is unique. This is to take us to a new level. And we are all gathered here, united by purpose, in purpose of what we want to do. And there is nothing that can stop us. 
Thank you for watching. See you next week.